Before we continue, I noticed that our reference images are kind of not centered as well as they should be. So we're going to press 7 and go to top view. And I'm going to press tab and then Z for wireframe and, and object, I mean edit mode. So you can see best right here, there's only a little bit of space here between our vertices and the car. And over here there's a little bit more space than there is on this side. So we can tell that it's not centered. So in order to center it, I've already gone through and uh, picked some values. So for the top view, it's going to be negative 1.377. So we're going to change top view to negative 1.377 and then press enter. It's going to center it a little bit better. And for front view, I believe, needs to be changed as well. Yes, it does. You can see it's really close on the left side to the actual car and then there's space right here so we know it's not centered so front view is negative 3.232 negative 3.232 and we're actually going to copy this value and paste it to the back so just highlight it by left clicking control C to copy, right click to get rid of the highlight, go down to the back view, left click here, control V to paste and press enter because remember back and front are, they use the same value for that and actually this looks off still so we're gonna have to move this manually I guess so maybe remove this We'll just play around with this until we get a better value. That's good enough. Negative 3.249. That's going to be close enough, I guess. So front view looks okay. But now you notice there's a little space on the left and there's a little space on the right. So we actually got to pull these a little closer, I think. Let me see on top view. Yeah, some of our lines will be a little messed up. That's okay. They're not going to be right where they were before, but that's okay. So another thing I wanted to do is start moving this car closer to this because it's not like where we have it. It's just a straight line and it's actually supposed to curve in as you can see here. So we're going to start with the back. First, we're going to get all these vertices again where the the wheel arch is. We're just going to use C for circle select, get all these, go back to top view with 7 and move them in until they match again. Next we want to press 3 to go to side view and we want to get all these so select 1, C for circle select, get the rest. Back to top view with 7 and just pull them in and actually first we actually just want to get this whole side so we're going to do C for circle select and grab, I think that's good right there and we'll just pull these in until they match the reference. Now we want to get the front but we're going to go back to side view to make sure we get the ones we want. So we want, I think these is what we want, maybe these, maybe not. So press 7 for top view and we'll just pull these in and actually we want to get these two as well. I think that's two of them. Yeah, so we want all these seven for top view and just pull them in and use R for rotate until you get basically the correct angle that's looking pretty good I'm gonna make a small adjustment to these ones that are closer so like these maybe we're gonna pull these in a little more and rotate a little so that is good right there you can't really notice too much of a difference, but it's more accurate like this. So another thing I kind of wanted to fix is we have like, we're not really going to be able to fix this entirely, but the shading here is kind of messed up a little. And right here we have like this pinching going on, like you can see like there's this line. So one thing we can do to kind of help to correct that is just press 3 to go into side view. I'm going to go back into edit mode by pressing tab and Z for wireframe. 
is we're just going to add a little more geometry here. You can see we need more of a curve here anyway, so it's going to help us with correcting two problems at once again. So we're going to do Control R, left click here, then right click, and just pull this down some until it matches uh, the reference. And what this is going to allow us to do is you see these are really close together, these three lines, these three curves right here is it's going to allow us to space things out more towards the front again. So like we can move these. Like obviously we can't move these because these actually uh, these have to be on this line. But we can move all the ones here forward. So we can move these forward some. We can move these forward. And we can just attempt to continue spacing these out a little more evenly. And that should help a little bit with the issue that we were having with the shading. It's not going to correct it entirely, but it may help a little bit. And it'll help us straighten out these lines as well. Like we can straighten this out so it's not so oddly curved. And the same with this, we can just pull this forward and we'll end up with straighter, nicer looking lines. And that will help us with the shading, of course. Just keeping things nice and smooth will help with your shading. So that's looking pretty decent, I think. Just go through, make sure you get all your points right where you want them. Good enough for me. So now if we take a look at that, it's not perfect yet. We still have some issues here. But that pinching that was here is basically gone. You can't really see that straight line that we had that was really ugly. So most of it's okay, except from this angle you have a little strangeness. So what we could do is, you know, you can always uh, try to adjust like the Z value maybe, or the X value, and see what happens. A lot of this is trial and error when you have shading issues. Just kind of move things around until they start to, le to uh, decrease or disappear entirely, preferably. So you just want to try to make it improve a little if you can. But in this case, I think we're just going to be stuck with this result. It's going to be not the greatest, but for now it's going to look okay. That doesn't look too bad. So like at least you have a nice, fairly nice straight shading there. It's not the best, but that looks okay. So we're just going to save this again. Go to File and Save.